Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you how you can install a Linux graphical application directly on Windows 11, and it will run natively on Windows 11. To do this, you need to install something called Windows Subsystem for Linux, and with the new Windows 11 upgrade, like version 22000 and more, now Windows Subsystem for Linux also supports Linux graphical applications. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do this if you don't have WSL installed already. And if you have WSL installed, I'm going to show you how to update it in order to do this. So let's start. So here I have my Windows 11 PC. And I'm going to show you first how to check the version of Windows 11 to see if it supports Windows subsystem for Linux with the graphical update. So click here on the search icon and then type about and hit enter and here you see the OS build it should be 22,000 or more and here I am good because it is 22,000 so once you see the OS build here if you don't have 22,000 simply go to Windows Update and update your version of Windows 11 so I'm going to close this one here now and on this PC, I don't have WSL installed, so I'm going to show you how to install it. You need to launch first PowerShell in administrator mode. So click once again on the search icon here and type in PowerShell. And you see Windows PowerShell, right click on it, and then click run as administrator. Click yes if prompted. And here's Windows PowerShell. So once you open Windows PowerShell, I'm going to show you first how to see what Linux distributions are available for WSL. So to do this, simply type in WSL minus L space minus O and hit enter. And here you see all the Linux distributions that are available for WSL. You have Ubuntu, Debian, Kali Linux, and so on. So here, for the sake of this video, I'm going to install Ubuntu. So let me clear the screen first. And then let's install WSL plus Ubuntu in one command. So key in WSL minus minus install space minus D space Ubuntu. And as you notice, Ubuntu is not case sensitive. So you can type it in lower cases as I'm typing it. And here hit enter. And the installation will start. So first, it will install the dependencies. And as you see, it is installing virtual machine platform. And then it will start installing the subsystem for Linux and so on. It will install also the GUI application support. And this is a new support feature in Windows subsystem for Linux. And now it is downloading Ubuntu. It's a pretty big download. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes. So now Ubuntu was downloaded and installed. And as you see, it is asking me to restart the system. So I'm going to reboot the system here. And now the system is restarting. And it will here install the updates, as you see. So this is WSL and Ubuntu and all the dependencies are being installed. So now when the PC restarts, it will automatically continue the installation of Ubuntu. So just give it a minute here. And you see it is installing Ubuntu now. And here it will ask you to provide a username for the Linux distribution. So I'm going to provide it with a username. Of course, provide it with the username you want. Hit enter after you put the username and then put a password for it. And confirm the password. And press enter. And now you see we have Ubuntu running. So this is the first step. So this was here the method to install WSL with the graphical support for a Windows 11 PC that didn't have WSL before. Now, in case you had WSL installed before on your Windows 11 PC, you have to update it in order for it to support the Linux graphical applications. And this is how you do it. Click on the Start menu. And then you need to restart PowerShell. So type PowerShell. And then right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on Run Administrator and then click Yes. And here simply you need to key in WSL minus minus update and press Enter. 
and then you need to key in WSL minus minus shutdown and press enter here I'm not gonna do it so these are the two commands that you need to put if you had WSL already running on your PC so let me close PowerShell now so now here as I told you this is the Linux distribution running and you can find it here also so you see it is under recommended and it is also under all apps if you click all apps of course under the U here you have Ubuntu and here to install an application first we need to update the software repository of this let me a little bit increase the font here so that we can see so to increase the font what I've done is that I held down the control key on my keyboard and I scrolled up my uh, mouse wheel and here key in to update the catalog of the application sudo apt update and press enter put the password for your user and here it is updating the catalog of applications and now the catalog of applications is updated let me clear the screen so let me now install an application that only exists on uh, Linux so to install the application you need to key in this following command sudo apt install I'm gonna install the Nautilus application here this is the application that is like a file explorer for Linux Nautilus and then space minus Y and hit enter and now the installation of the application is starting and you see it will fetch the application from the internet and it will install it and now the Nautilus graphical application for Linux was installed I'm gonna show you how to start it let me close Ubuntu here and then you can find it here under the start menu if you click on the start menu and then click on all apps and it is here under the F it is files Ubuntu so let me start it so it will start as any Windows application so here it is and here you can like browse your PC with the file explorer that is Nautilus which is a Linux application so also for instance here if you want to pin it to your taskbar you can pin it to your taskbar just go to all apps and then right click on it choose more and then choose pin to taskbar and here it is pinned to the taskbar so if you close it you can start it simply by clicking on it here so another way to start the application is to start it from within WSL so start Ubuntu first and within Ubuntu type in the application name simply and hit enter and it will start as you see so now I wanted to show you a small limitation that I detected for the Linux graphical applications that work on Windows 11 I had my mouse keys switched from left to right because I use my mouse with my left hand but the buttons in the Linux graphical application didn't switch so this is I think a bug because it's still in preview mode and Microsoft will correct it in the future so that was it for installing and running Linux graphical applications directly on Windows 11. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel big time. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.